to them, think about it, and think about it for the next one. So uh, next up, uh, we have Exegy. So uh, we're just going to do a little switch over here at the computer. And uh, All right, thank you, everybody. Uh, so my name is Matt Lukey, and I'm here representing Exegy and EWG, so what are all these letters I'm sending at you right now? Exegy is an agency, we're a B Corp in San Francisco, we work on websites and apps for government agencies, for nonprofits. Um, there's a few of us here, I don't know if you guys want to wave, uh, yeah, talk, talk to us. <laughs> And then EWG, what is EWG? That's uh, the Environmental Working Group. It's a nonprofit based out of Washington, D.C., uh, founded in 1993. They do a lot of environmental advocacy and especially consumer awareness, which is what this app is all about. So what is healthy living? Um, from the zoomed out perspective, it is the combination of two existing apps that I'll explain, but the two existing apps are food stores and Skin Deep, which are um, both on iOS and uh, Android right now. And we're combining them into one single app called Healthy Living. So what do these apps do? So food stores, um, say you're shopping you know, for groceries, and everybody has these mental rules in their head for what is a healthy food, what is good for the environment, all these things that you might be concerned about, um, you know, taste, price, all that stuff. But you, have, you look at a an item off the shelf and you say, okay, well, it has an organic label, yes, no. Uh, how many ingredients does it have that I can't pronounce? Um, the author Michael Pollan sometimes says, uh, don't eat a food that your grandmother wouldn't recognize as a food. Um, so what Food Scores does, it, it takes tons of research. Environmental Working Group has uh, done really extensive research on all these items and just breaks it down with a score of one to 10 and then compares by category. So if you grab one uh, food item, you can see what are the other food items in this category with better or worse scores. And then Skin Deep does the same thing for cosmetics. So there's what you're putting in your body and then on your body. Um, and you want to make sure you're making healthy choices. So I'm going to open up a separate file for the video here. But I'm just going to walk through a video demo of the app here. So this is the Healthy Living app. So I'm going to start by scanning a product here. So uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but so if you scan this applesauce here with the barcode, and then it'll pull up the product page for that uh, item, give you the score out of 10 in the top left. You can click on the nutrition facts and see all the different nutrition facts for that item. Um, you can also see the score break, broken down by um, ingredients, nutrition, and processing. Uh, you can tap on one of those dials and see more details about why they give it the score for that uh, subcategory and see more info. You can also tap on the category and see other scores for other items in that category. So if you want to see other applesauce items, you can see the list in the database and their scores. So this is sort of my best score. Um, so you see all these one, these low scores here. But you can also sort by worst score, or A to Z, or whatever you want. So here's the A to Z scores for the applesauce, applesauce category. Um, and then you can also sort by worst score here. And then you can see, like, so five is not that, five out of 10. But um, I'm gonna favorite this item in the top right there. And then if you go back, you can see tapping the hamburger button, you can see recently viewed items and favorites. So if you tap on favorites, you can see everything that you've saved in the past. So another thing you can do is you can search actively by, uh, I just want to search for some type of item. So say you want to search for toothpaste, uh, because this app combines both the food and the cosmetic databases. 
So if you search for toothpaste, it only sends you to the best score toothpaste. And then you can see all the ingredients inside there and see if you can pronounce what they are. Um, and it'll give them a, a score for each actual ingredient. So this one has uh, no really uh, dangerous ingredients. So I went ahead and favorited that. But what happens if you look at the worst scored ones? You see those scores bump up. Let's take a look. And then you can actually look at the ingredients for this one. You know, they're, they're fine, but then all of a sudden you have a few that have really high scores that really bump up the score for this item. So that is a tour of the app. And then just to sum up back on the slides here, if you want more information, uh, I'll show this. I'm not sure why it's not running. But in any case, if you want more information on the ratings, ewg.org is Environmental Working Group's website, and they have information about how they get those scores um, and how they do their research. And then if you want more uh, information about the development of the app, ask any of us and on the Exigy team. So thank you. Great. Thank you. Questions? Right, so I've used this app. Um, so I think there's the primary audience, like there's the audience is really anybody who's going grocery shopping or who's uh, shopping for cosmetics. What it ends up being, um, I mean, it's really just the demographics of whoever you'll see at those stores. It's, it's, but we see quite a few downloads of people shopping. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Well, EWG is a nonprofit. Oh yeah, sorry. Uh, so uh, the question was, is there a plan for monetization? Um, not really, because EWG is a nonprofit. Uh, if you tap the hamburger button, there's a donate button to EWG, and so I guess that's monetization in a way. Yeah. Yeah. I currently use the Skin uh, Deep app, and mm -hmm. I, I found that a lot of the products that I put in there aren't listed, or they're not yet in the system. Is there a way to search ingredients and within the app to see the level of hazardness or what number they've been assigned to for each ingredient has been assigned? Okay, so the question was, is there a way to search ingredients as opposed to just the product in general? Uh, the answer currently is no, but the data is there, so we'll take that into consideration. And that's a good feature. Uh, I guess the hacky way to do it would be to search for that product category in general and look for if that kind of the ingredient is listed on a different product on the one that you're specifically looking at. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. This is great, I love it. Um, I'm wondering if there's any way to build in like a, a feedback loop or at the point of sale, it's so that you use this information to buy a product and then the company realizes it and you give them an opportunity to respond. So if they got a bad score, then they can somehow say, all right, we're doing this and this and this. We heard you, we see what your percentage is going to be. Is there that, I mean, obviously not now, but could that be somehow built in? Yeah. yeah. Monetization. What's that? <laughs> right there. Oh, yeah, yeah. So the question was, uh, is there a way to give the companies that give good or bad scores feedback on like why you're buying or not buying their product? And, yeah, it's not in the app right now, but yeah, that's an excellent suggestion. We should, we should think about having a quick like that. Do I have time for one more question? One quick. Uh, so the question is, is it, can you filter by store? Uh, right now, that's that's not in the app. It's just by product. So you scan the barcode, you can, you can search, but not by store yet. Great. Thanks, everyone. There's, there's time for more questions at the end. So if you want to connect with Matt at the end or the other Exegy folks. Wait, Jeff, I want to ask about one action. Um, one action? That you would recommend. Uh, download one of the current apps. Down, download one of the current apps is the yeah. action. Yeah, um, and if the speakers, if you at the end could give away for folks to plug in if you're looking.